Welcome to the Complete Angler. My name is JC Brooks and I am sitting beside Joe Long. So today we are doing a Q&A, questions and answers. Basically all I have to do is ask him a few questions and I'm going to see how much he really knows. So first thing is I'm going to put you in a scenario. You're at a pond, you're not at a pond, you're at a lake. It is noon, it is 80 degrees out. The sun is out. You're wanting to deep. You're wanting to dive deep because that's where the bass Sun's are. Sun's out, guns out. Exactly. What would be the best type of lure to use if you're wanting to go deep? To 20, go deep. To go deep. Twenty-five plus or twenty plus. Well, twenty plus is pushing it. Um, I might use a deep lure like this. It's got a big bill with a weight on it. Um, I would probably, if they're that deep, I would probably use a Texas rigged worm, um, like a large ribbon tail worm, like that one we got in the box the other day, and use a heavy lead or tungsten head, and then a bead, and then one of those, uh, extra wide gap worm hooks, and you get it down there. And you can do two different things. You can put it clear on the bottom, or you can put the the weight at the bottom, and then run like a little bit of a leader, um, say a foot, foot and a half, two foot max, uh, up to your worm. That way your worm's not completely down in the muck in the weeds, but it's up a little bit, which is a really good prototypical way to fish that. Now, I'm going to stay in the same scenario when it comes to weather. Midday, hot, sun's out, 80 degrees. If you don't have something to drink, you're going to die of heat stroke. Um, you're on the shore this time, and you only have one lure. What would it be, and why? 20 foot deep also? Or just on shore? You're on shore. It's hot, and it's I'm hot. on shore. If you're hot and on shore, you just need to find the fish. Um, I would probably use a jig. Um, I'd probably put like a crawl on the back, like a cracking crawl from Guggen Bates, and work it very, very slowly. Literally cast out, let it sink, just move it a little bit, shake it a little even, you know, make mm -hmm. it look more realistic. And uh, sometimes you can pull it up where it comes up, and then you drop it. And as it's gone down, it kind of flutters all the skirt material and the tails flutter down. And uh, the bass will come look at it when you bring it up. They'll come up to it, and then when it starts fluttering down, they'll come and grab it. That's kind of the normal reaction strike on something like that. But a, a jig is good all year round, all times, but when when it's hot out, you can really work it slow. You can't really work a chatterbait that slow, and you can't really work a crankbait or something that slow. So. A jig is a good thing. You can leave it set in place. You can move it slowly. You can pick it up. You can jig it up and down. You know, if you're on the end of a dock, you know, you're on, you're on the bank, you're on the end of a dock or something, or a deep drop-off, say you're on, a, like, a rocky cliff, you can basically jig it like that. And then I got one more quick question. Mm -hmm. you're, at the, you're at a pond. Same scenario when it comes to whether you're on the shore. Would it be best to be putting it straight down in the middle of the pond and go deep? Or to the right, you've got brush and, and trees. Would it be better to go there? Which one would be best? I always like to go around the brush and stuff. Because you gotta, you got to think like a fish. And big fish eat little fish. And little fish eat smaller fish. And smaller fish eat little plankton, little bugs. So if you can find an area that little fish are safe, like a brush, a Christmas tree, a fall down, lay down tree, that's going to be a haven for little fish. And where there's little fish, there's going to be big fish. Good answer. So we're just going to cut the video here because one, I've ran out of questions and we're trying to keep a couple, trying to make a few short videos. So for JC Brooks. One thing. Okay. This is something we didn't talk about. You know a lot of the answers, and you know what I just gave. I want you to give me 
a school rating on my answers. A for the greatest answers of all time. Uh, F for I did I picked the wrong stuff and I had no idea. You get to answer because you heard my answers. I'll give you a B. A B. All right. I want you guys out there in the comments give me a rating. If I did great, it's an A. If I did horrible, it's an F. If I did somewhere in between, like what he said, hit me up. For Joe Long, JC Brooks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the lake. And remember. Oh, me? Okay, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Take. Take a kid fishing and hit the ding dong thing when you subscribe so you get the, so you actually get the notification. Yes. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.